Dun, dun, dun. Oyster mushroom recipe. <laughs> Hey my loves, it's Rashida Joy from Pretty Pump Fitness and today I'm going to show you how I like to cook my oyster mushrooms. These mushrooms are amazing. Um, you can find them at your Asian markets. Um, Whole Foods has them sometimes. Uh, yeah, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel for more plant-based foods and how I like to cook them. Um, I'd like to show you guys from start to finish how I prepare these so people you know want to know how you wash them so just run them under cool water just rubbing the front and back of the mushrooms just checking for any insects or dirt you know mushrooms grow in the dirt um, if you see any just rub it off or cut it off if you need to but make sure you run these under cool water and uh, try not to like tear them apart I like to leave them whole but you'll see in the next scene um, what I'm going to do with them All right, so here's a really good close-up of the oyster mushroom. Notice there's no extremely dark parts. Um, the edges are a little frayed, but that's okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut them because I don't want, you know, just one big mushroom. I'm gonna make this into about three different parts. Um, oyster mushrooms, to me, taste like chicken, <laughs> like for real, like a chicken thigh. It reminds me of like a fatty piece of chicken. Um, so delicious. And again, this is a healthy way to cook it. You know, people do batter them up, but we're not doing that because we're trying to stay fit and trim and slim. So you can divide these as many times as you want to. I'm going to do three pieces. Alright, so we're going to lightly season our oyster mushrooms. They have plenty of flavor, um, I feel, so I don't over season them. I just use some onion, garlic, and a little salt. Um, that's it, but feel free to add anything that you want to add to your mushrooms, um, pepper, paprika, any of those seasonings that you may like. I just find this easy, simple, and that's really like it. <laughs> All right, and on medium high heat, you're gonna take about one tablespoon of grapeseed oil or avocado oil, and just get your pan nice and hot. Dance in the kitchen a little bit, cause it's fun. And then we're just gonna gently place our mushrooms in the pan. Now I'm gonna leave these in the pan cooking probably for about five minutes. I like my mushrooms crispy. I don't like um, mushy mushrooms, so I cook mine a little bit longer. So they would just pop away and fry away in this little bit of oil, probably for about five minutes uh, on this side. So I'm gonna show you each side. Okay, now here's the trick that I learned. So you grab a pan or a pot or something kind of heavy um, and that fits in your pan and you're going to use it to push down the mushrooms. So when you push them down, it's actually releasing a lot more of the water that's inside of the mushroom, um, which can also help with that mushy taste that mushrooms give sometimes. So I just kind of, eh, it's not necessarily lightly, like a firm press down. Um, you can leave this 
pot on there. See extra water is like popping off. You can leave this on there for about a minute or two, something like that. If you have something heavy that would actually keep it down, then you could just put it on there. But um, I just kind of push for about a minute and then I just kind of let the pan and pot stay together for about another minute. So guys, you know, you might as well just go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I'm showing you guys a really healthy way to have something on your plant-based fitness journey. All right, so I figured I'd just let you guys see like the, the pan and its function. You know, you can see the water coming up on top of the pan, on top of the pot, so you know it's releasing water. And a lot of people don't like mushrooms because they don't like the texture. Well, I'm about to give you a really crispy texture, so don't skip this part. And we're gonna do it on both sides. Okay, so after about three minutes or so and again I told you guys I like mine crispy like you see how the edges are getting dark that's when I know I, I will like them <laughs> um, so there's still a little bit of water coming off of them but it's okay but you can see I haven't flipped them yet okay I haven't flipped them and I'm gonna show you flip them now so use your tongs and just uh, be gentle and flip them over make sure no parts are stuck because they can be a little fragile so be gentle and flip them over. There we go. I actually like that one the most. Like that is ideal on how I like my oyster mushrooms to look. Nice and brown and crispy. So I'm actually gonna let them cook a little bit more on each side um, to make it taste like some crispy chicken. I'm going to actually do the same thing I did on the other side. So I'm going to put the pot on it and I'm going to push it down and release the water from the other side. All right, so after another three or four minutes or so, I took the other pot off and I'm gonna flip them again. Now, based on your desired um, color and texture, this may be good for you, but like I said, I like mine extra crispy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let these cook for probably another four minutes. Ooh, yeah, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> I'm getting hungry already again. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna, you saw how I moved my pot around because I could see that the fire is kind of heavy on one part of the part of the pan. So, you know, just rotate your pot and um, I'm gonna just let these cook. I'm gonna turn my fire down onto low and just let a lot of the water release and let these get more brown. All right, so now these are okay. You know, I have an obsession with crispy, so I'm gonna put them in my air fryer, which I'm not gonna show, but this is completely optional. I'm gonna put them in the air fryer for like five minutes just to get an extra crisp. But what I am gonna show you is the same pan with the same, you know, oyster mushrooms and hot pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter and I'm gonna throw some spinach inside of this pan. So here's a bonus how I'm gonna make some quick spinach to go on the side of my oyster mushrooms. So here you go, just, just watch.
So I'm just seasoning my spinach up because I seasoned my vegetables. Everybody must season their vegetables with a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, liquid smoke. I think I added some smoked paprika, um, pink Himalayan sea salt, and then I grabbed some red pepper just for a little, little kick heat. Alright, here we are. Here's dinner. The oyster mushrooms, the spinach, and some zucchini fries. Um, if you guys want to know how I made zucchini fries, just leave a comment below. But this is dinner. Um, I did crisp the, the oyster mushrooms just for a little bit, but I'm going to enjoy. Thanks guys for watching.